Hi, my name is Greg Pallium. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about which roofing systems minimize business interruption. Um, and really, it's any of the fluid applied roofing systems, um, spray polyurethane foam or silicone roof coating systems. And there's really three reasons why. Uh, the first reason is because they minimize tear off. On most um, fluid applied roofing system installations, uh, what we do is we identify the wet insulation and the bad decking if that's out there too. Um, identify those areas, replace them with new dry material. Um, that way the whole, under, everything underneath the roof is dry. And then we can just install the product over, over top of what you already got. Um, if you have two roofing systems, um, you can put a coating system on there since it's not considered really a roofing system. Um, and if you have one or less, you can do foam or coating um, on there. But um, a lot of jobs, they, they're going to say, okay, we're going to rip this entire thing off and put a new, roof, new roofing system on there. Um, but why would you do that? if 90% of your roof is dry. So on these fluid applied roofing systems, on most, most cases, just replace what's wet and replace it with new material and then put the coating system over top of it. Uh, second thing is the speed of installation. Um, a lot of these commercial roofing projects we do, they have 10 HVAC units with duct work everywhere. They have pipes everywhere, exhausts, drains, skylights, all these penetrations that come up through the roof. Um, and if you go with a single ply roofing system, you know, you're rolling out a sheet, you know, that, those things get in the way. You have to custom cut um, and do all these custom things and custom fit it over each one of these things. I mean, look at some of the photos on our, on our site. Some of these projects, they have hundreds, 200 different penetrations. That would take a single ply um, roofing system forever to be installed correctly. And then, you know, you don't even know if it's watertight because every single one of them has to be installed perfectly. Not that it can't be done, but just a lot of risk involved, um, it's, which is completely different than a fluid applied roofing system, which is just shot out of a gun. You go right around the HVAC unit, right, right up the pipe, and just keep on going. There's no seams, there's no fasteners. Um, it's just very simple to keep going on. It's just continuous. Um, it's one layer monolithic, just a lot less risk um, of having an installer error when you go with something that's fluid applied. Um, and the last thing is um, space on the job site. So on uh, a coating system, you might just need a couple pallets of coating, um, a couple parking spots that you know, we can use to um, you know, put the drums of coating in and run the pipe or run the, um, you know, run, run the stuff up the side of the roof and just shoot it on your roof and that's it. Um, other job sites, you need 100,000 square foot of rolls of TPO to go up there or EPDM, um, all the box of screws, you need just a ton of more space. Um, than a fluid applied system because it's just so much slipper to use, a lot less material, one box truck, pipe that goes up there, and an installer, that's it. So when you're thinking of which roofing systems to install, sometimes um, you know, it means a lot to, to your company to have the contractor come in and get the heck out and on to the next thing. Instead of someone's going to come up here, take forever to install, you know, having a contractor on your roof for a week as opposed to a month, um, it was a big difference to some people. So. I know it's not the hugest thing out there, but something worth noting. Um, if you want to learn any more about any of these points, um, in the description, there's a link to the blog post. Um, but I hope you learned at least one thing new today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.